Hi, I'm Bob. Let's do the homework set one. For the first question, the first step is to draw a graph. We find some typical points and also consider how y changes when x approaches infinity. The second step is to answer questions. The purpose of the video is to show the method to answer the questions. The answers here are not complete and it was recorded before the class. So you should follow the instructions in the class and find your own better solution. There are many ways to write a domain. For part B, it's correct if you mention that part of the equation where x is positive can serve as a market demand function. For part C, we consider two cases. In case 1, when A is negative, the domain is the set of all real numbers. You can assign a number to A and draw a graph. When you write down the global maximum, remember to write it correctly. It's an expression of A instead of the number assigned. Then we consider the second case when A is positive. The graph is more complicated when I refer to the stator graphics to help me to get the shape of the graph. There is a local maximum at the point 0, minus 1 over A. For the second question, part A, the slope of revenue is called the marginal revenue, which is the change of revenue the firm gets from selling one more unit of output, or the rate at which the revenue increases with output. The slope of cost is called the marginal cost, which is the change of the firm's cost if it produce one more unit of output. For part B, a linear revenue function implies a constant marginal revenue function. And we know that the marginal revenue of a perfectly competitive firm or a price taker is equal to the going market price, which is constant, while a monopoly firm's marginal revenue curve is downward sloping. So this is a perfectly competitive firm or price taker. For part C, you can consider three cases. And please look at my solution. Let's look at the last question. The slope of the budget constraint here is equal to minus two-fifth. It's called the relative price of x in terms of y. That is to say the relative price of one unit of x is two-fifth units of y. In some textbooks, it's also called the marginal rate of transformation between x and y. It is the trade-off between x and y in the marketplace. 
is the rate at which the consumer is able to trade Y for X in the market when the prices and her income are fixed. Here, the consumer must give up two-fifths units of Y to obtain one more unit of X in the marketplace. For part B, the slope of the indifference curve is called the marginal rate of substitution between X and Y. It measures the rate at which the consumer is willing to trade Y for X while keeping her utility constant. It has nothing to do with the market prices of the two goods. Thank you for watching this video.